New at six, we've got an update to a tale that we told you about last night. 46 year old Artie Richter remains in the Lucas County Jail after being accused of lighting a man's hair on fire with a blowtorch. Investigative reporter Kaylee Marin Tett joins us with an update. Kaylee? Well, this happened Monday afternoon at the Rittis gas station on North Summit Street. This afternoon, we received the gas station surveillance video of the incident. In a police report, Davion Thompson says Arthur Richter threatened him with a blowtorch while he was sitting in a car on 116th and Summit Streets. He and his friend then drove to Rittis to escape him, but he confronted the men again. Now here's a look at the video. Just after 12 o'clock on Monday afternoon, you can see Richter entering the gas station with a blowtorch as Thompson walks towards him. In the video, Richter lunges at Thompson, apparently briefly lighting his hair on fire. Thompson runs away and pulls off his sweatshirt. Richter later leaves the store and can be seen yelling at the men while firewood outside the store was also on fire. It's not clear if Richter intentionally lit the wood or it was by accident. A store clerk you can see there then throws a cup of water on that pile of wood outside. As you heard, Richter is in Lucas County Jail. According to municipal court records, he has been charged with two felony arson counts and one misdemeanor menacing count. In studio, Kaylee Marantet, WTOL 11. Well, you may be familiar with the man you just saw in the incident at Riddis. Our 11 Investigates team detailed Artie Richter's wrongful conviction battle with Lucas County in November. Richter was convicted of complicity of the commission of murder in 2018 after his uncle died in a bar fight. The 6th District Court of Appeals overturned that conviction, which led to Richter being released from prison. Richter sued the state for wrongful imprisonment. Last Friday, a judge denied him summary judgment, effectively ending his case unless he asks an appeals court to overturn the decision.